Welcome back. So let's have a look at the amazing drawing I made here. Okay, maybe it's not amazing, but it's there. And um, we can do this now. We can say, well, the Mongo database, that's kind of check now. You guys know a bit about the Mongo database and how to set it up. So that's kind of ready to use now. That's something that you guys at least can work with and know some of the commands, some of the basic stuff. So what do we have to do next? Well, we have to start looking into Mongoose and we have to start looking into Express and Node.js. And luckily, somebody out there, a nice guy, went in and said, well, you know what, I'll build something for you that uses these two guys together just so you can have a quick um, REST API up and running in a matter of minutes. So that's what we're going to build in the next couple of lessons. Now, we're going to start with just adding Node.js because that's the server that's going to make all of this run. So we need some kind of JavaScript engine to run on our machine to present uh, to pretend that your machine is actually a real JavaScript server. Now let's go into Node.js.org and here it actually says Node.js is a JavaScript runtime built on Chrome V8 engine. So the things you can do in Chrome you can actually also do on your machine when we're done installing this. So every time you see JavaScript executing inside a Chrome engine, uh, inside a browser, uh, the Chrome browser, sorry, that's actually using this engine. So what they did is they took that engine and made a tool that you can install on your machine, Windows, Mac, uh, Linux, whatever, and then you can actually execute JavaScript directly on your machine like you would be able to do with a Windows uh, exe file. Now you can also execute JavaScript. So we're going to install this and you should just pick the newest, uh, this version right here, the LTS, recommended for most users, version 691. I'll download it, I get an MSI, and you just run the default installation. So the download is complete, I do the installation wizard here, I just press next, then I say I agree, next, I say next, I say next, I say install, and it installs. I say yes, again, sorry for doing it that fast, but it's really just the default settings. The installation is complete, I'll say finish. And just to validate that Node.js is here on your system now, you can open your windows and just say search for Node.js, and it should pop up with something saying Node.js command prompt, and also Node.js here. If that is there, you're ready to run for the next lesson.